1995? That is so long ago. <laughs> I don't know why I'm playing this game at all right now. But, um, I haven't made a video in forever and I wanted to play something just to kind of say hi to everyone and see how everyone was doing because I miss them very dearly. And I kind of miss and I want to know what the heck is going on with you guys. Um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm playing Donkey Kong Country 2 and if you do not know what Donkey Kong Country 2 is, that is probably one of the best um, platformers ever. I've kidnapped that lumbering fool Donkey Kong and you will never hear him again. You see him again. Ha 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 Captain K rule. Spelled with a K all the way through. So, clearly it's up to no good. And I am very confused as to how he managed to get a hold on Donkey Kong because I thought in the verse, I thought in the very first game, I thought that Diddy Kong was the one that got kidnapped because he was supposed to be watching the Banana Horde and because he's a tiny little monkey, he couldn't do it. So, how they managed to kidnap Donkey Kong but did not kidnap Diddy is kind of beyond me at this point because I thought that Diddy would be an easier target but regardless um, Diddy was always probably everyone's more preferable character in the first game and to top it all off he has an even cooler companion now that he did the first time he has Dixie Kong and for those of you who don't know who Dixie Kong is Dixie Kong is Diddy Kong's girlfriend he has a uh, pretty foxy or a pretty monkey girlfriend I should say um, there's a banana coin over here and this, the creme coin is particularly easy in the first couple of levels, so I will have to say that. Um, this is how you complete 102% in the game. Like, if you were playing the first Donkey Kong Country, you can get 101%. Um, I think you probably get more, actually, if you beat it all in, like, one health thing, or... I think, like, in the third one, you can get 105% or something like that. I don't really care about that stuff, really. Um, because I'm kind of a perfectionist, but not really. But there's some cool things, so you got a monkey riding a rhinosaur, or rhinoceros. Just ignore what I'm saying right now, I'm saying stupid things, so... I have been drinking, <laughs> but I'm making a video anyway because I'm finally alone in my house for the first time ever, and for those of you who have been wondering what the heck I have been up to, I have been gone for a very long time. I really haven't. Um, I've been around, I've been working, I don't really want to talk about work that much, because work is work. You know, work is what you do to occupy, like, a good chunk of your time and to be a productive memory of society, member of society. I cannot say what I mean to say right now, but you guys can get the idea, so. But anyway, that's everything in there, and if you ever want to know if you collected all the bonus coins in a stage, exclamation point would appear on the title of the stage, and then Donkey Kong, um, the symbol for the Donkey Kong coin will appear in case you got the DK coin. So in case you were kind of wondering if you collected everything in the stage, you do want to collect everything because if you are a perfectionist, that is a big thing for you. So, but personally for me, Donkey Kong Country 2 is probably my favorite game in the whole series. So I really like playing through this game and I haven't played through it in a really long time. And it's Friday night and all my friends are currently hanging out with their girlfriends, which is just absolutely fantastic. Good, good for them. They can do whatever the heck they want, so that that's fine. I will hang out with you guys because you guys are awesome. You guys will probably be watching this on a Saturday after you're done hanging out with your girlfriend, so that that's good for you too. That's fine. <laughs> so, so anyway, I got killed by a bug. That's great. So now I get to control Dixie Kong, and Dixie Kong has the cool thing of having amazing hair like Rapunzel entangled. So. She can just do magical things with her hair and fly over. Oh, dear lord, I'm gonna get killed. Okay. That was pretty good right there. I thought there was a green bin. I thought there was a green, like a two up balloon over there, but apparently not, so. I'll keep on going. You have to pardon my reflexes, I'm terrible. I'm not doing a speed run of this, by the way. Have, by the way, have you guys um, am, um, been able to see um, Awesome Game Done Quick? The, um, I'm subscribed to like SDA um, Speed Archives right now and they have this really cool channel going on and what they do is they do speed runs of like all these really old classy games they do speed runs of new games too but i really like the runs of old classy games mainly because the first one that i saw was i saw this guy trying to play mike tyson's punch out and for everyone like if someone knows how to play mike tyson's punch out there's a definite pattern to the characters so it's not hard he was trying to do it blindfolded and i thought that was really cool because it, like, it almost felt like I was watching a fight. Like, you know how people are really into UFC now? Because UFC is awesome. Um, it was kind of like that. So I was watching that, and honestly, I, I had no idea if he was going to win or he was going to lose because he's blindfolded, right? Like, he had no idea. Because there's an obvious visual cue on the screen to tell you when, um, when, like, um, 
when someone's going to be doing an attack, right? But they don't have anybody who's necessarily doing anything, um... But there's, like, the auditory clue, um, the key for that is delayed. So that's what makes it really cool. So that's when I was watching, and I was like, this is actually really awesome. And the thing is, they raised so much more money than I can imagine, because if you guys remember, like, when I used to do, like, Pokemon videos, I did, um... I did a charity event one time, and we managed to raise a pretty decent amount of money, like, in the thousands. Um, for that charity event, they raised, like... They raised, they, they almost raised like half a million dollars for charity, and it was for the same charity. It was for um, Child's Play, which is really awesome. So I mean, so I guess um, speedrunning is kind of where it is in the, in the gaming community right now. I think that's really cool. People are just taking classic retro games and they're just running through it as quickly as possible, which I think is really awesome. So I mean, if you get a chance to check them out, um, go ahead and do that. I really, I just want to spread the word and just kind of give you guys a heads up and just make a video. Um, not because I'm pro at this game or anything, I've already died twice on the second level in the game. Probably because of the, um, the alcohol, <laughs> but, you know, you'll just have to forgive me. I am just trying to run along, and there's a bonus thing right there, and I needed Dixie, and I, um, and of course I lost her because I'm an idiot, so. But, of course she's right there, so. And I'm going to pretend that I knew that she was right there, but I didn't. So, <laughs> that is completely why I lost Dixie right there, or Diddy. So. I think I can reach that bonus barrel from another area if I just fly down from that, um... From the main area. Because basically the, the DK coin is up there, and I'm a complete idiot. So I can play through this whole level again, and collect all that, and you guys would know exactly what I'm doing. But I really just want to talk to you guys, really. I don't really want to... I'm not playing this game to 102% right now. Um, I can do a much better job playing this game... Um... In the near future. <laughs> so let, let me get back to that exact point, and I will kind of show you what I was talking about. So if I can kind of zen focus for a second, because that's what my uh, my cousin used to tell me what she used to do when she was studying. Okay. One monkey in the hand. One monkey. Two monkey, three monkey, one banana, two banana, three banana. Okay, back up here. You toss a monkey into a barrel, because, you know, a barrel of monkeys, right? 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 <laughs> and you collect all the stars, which is really easy, except for that one that I missed right there. So, and normally the really easy trick for this is that you just kind of hover. Like, you do this. You run like that back and forth across the, the thing, and you just walk down. And then you hop to the next one, and then you kind of hover like that. And actually, you should probably grab this one, this line first, and then grab this other line. If you're trying to do it in a time-efficient manner. I don't think you're going to run into a into a time constraint necessarily, but that'll get you the creme point, and that should deposit you on the t on the upper part of Main Brace Mayhem. And the DK coin is at the very top right here. And Dixie Kong is awesome because she plays the guitar with her hair. So, and Diddy Kong did a pretty good job picking up a girlfriend right there. So, let's move on to Gangplank Galley. I don't know if I'm going to break these videos. I don't know how often I'm going to be breaking up these videos. There are shortcuts in these videos too, by the way. Like, if I were to toss Diddy over the bonus barrel, I can get to the very end of the stage. Um, that's a good way to do it. Dixie is amazing because she holds the, um... She holds all the items in her hair above the top of her head. Kind of like how, um, Donkey Kong used to do his above, um above the air hold, like he would hold the barrels over his head, right, when he was rolling, running around in the first Donkey Kong, and then Diddy Kong, because he's tinier, he used to hold it, like, right in front of him, so Diddy Kong was really good if you were just barreling through, because you could run into a bad guy, and you wouldn't get hurt, right, but for Donkey Kong, like, you could jump up and then hit a bad guy, and it's really ideal, too, so, there's really no wrong way to go about it, they did a really good job, I think this game is really well polished, because in reality, what you have now is that you have Diddy Kong and Dixie Kong, and they're both approximately the same size, per se. So there's a lot less, um, there's not as much of a difference between the two characters anymore. So it's not like, a, oh, I want to use Diddy Kong, or I want to use Dixie Kong. So you don't really have that fight anymore. Actually, you probably still do, because most people still like using Dixie Kong more than Diddy Kong. But I think if you're speedrunning, I think Diddy Kong is actually the faster character. So you'd want to be running around the stage with, um with Diddy more often than you are with Dixie, but 
but I mean, but when I was playing through this as a kid, I thought the Dixie was just really awesome. And it was really funny because when I was talking to my friend about it, he was like, oh yeah, Dixie Kong. Um, I love the Donkey Kong game because Dixie Kong had boobs. And I was like, wait, hold on. What? Dixie Kong had, had okay, so she's a girl. That, that is true. It's very possible that she had boobs. Boobs on a monkey is not something I've ever thought about. Ever. <laughs> so, if she has boobs, you guys can let me know. I don't... That doesn't look like boobs to me. That looks like... That looks like she lives in the 80s. I think she needs to up... She needs to upgrade her outfit, actually. I don't know. What is... Is that a beret that she has on her head? I have no idea. So... Regardless, she plays air guitar with her hair. So, no matter what she dresses in, she's still cool. So... I think that's the way we have to go about it. So... I'm gonna go ahead and play the air guitar with my hair again, and I can never stop hitting all the little things with um with Dixie Kong, and I got everything in that level. If you go to Kong College, you can save the game. Um, this is Wrinkly Kong. Hello, dearies. I'm Mrs. Wrinkly Kong, headmistress here at Kong College. Surprisingly, she's actually married to um Cranky Kong. How that guy managed to get married to someone is beyond me. So they talk about all these different things like swimming and bananas and all these other things, and you can. And she tells you secrets, how to beat bosses and stuff like that. And if you want to save the game, the first time you save it, it's free. And every game, um, every time hereafter is two coins each. So, just kind of choose accordingly. That's the way I want to think about it. So, I'm going to leave college. And apparently, this is not a very good college. Because they don't spell college correctly. But that's fine, because this is Donkey Kong. And they can do whatever you want. If you hug the, um, the right-hand side right here... This is what I used to do, and what you do is you hit start and select, if you're trying to collect banana coins to collect something. And normally that's a pretty good way to kind of amass a really big collection of banana coins, so that's what I used to do when I was younger, so. Anyway, Lockjaw's Locker, I love the music in this particular level, so. Keep on moving along here, I think you can slide through here, apparently not. 